Every building requires a reliable water source to meet its water demands. Before the water enters the building, it undergoes a crucial treatment process to ensure its cleanliness and safety. Filtration and disinfection remove impurities, contaminants, and harmful microorganisms, making the water safe for various uses. Once treated, the water is pumped into the building's water distribution system. In the case of a high-rise building, the water supply begins by connecting to a nearby municipal water source. The water is then directed to the building, where it enters a water tank located at ground level or in the basement. A transfer pump is used to pump the water to the overhead tank. The overhead tank, situated on the roof of the building, is designed with a capacity to meet the water consumption needs of the entire building for at least 24 hours. This setup guarantees a reliable water supply, especially during power outages or maintenance periods. Water distribution network from the overhead tank. The water is distributed throughout the building through a network of pipes. Considering factors such as pipe sizing, pressure losses, and material selection, etc., to ensure efficient water flow to all floors and common areas. Gravity and pressure ensure water flows to lower floors and common areas. Booster pump, however, due to the height of the building, the water pressure might not be sufficient to serve the nearest floors from the rooftop. To overcome this, booster pumps are installed on specific floors to pressurize the water supply, ensuring even distribution across all floors water metering and apartment consumption in residential buildings understanding each apartment's water consumption becomes essential for efficient water management water meters are installed for individual apartments to accurately measure and record water usage providing valuable data for both residents and property managers isolation valve control by incorporating isolation valves the flow of water to each apartment can be controlled this enables property managers to manage water usage effectively, detect leaks, and encourage water conservation. Isolation valves also facilitate maintenance and emergency shutdowns while minimizing disruptions to other apartments. Water pressure regulation to prevent damage to the plumbing system and fixtures. Water pressure is regulated through pressure-reducing valves. These valves ensure a safe and consistent water pressure throughout the building. Water sustainability. High-rise buildings are increasingly adopting water sustainability measures to reduce their environmental impact. These may include rainwater harvesting systems, which collect and store rainwater for non-potable uses, and grey water recycling systems, which treat and reuse wastewater from sinks and showers for certain purposes. Water-efficient landscaping, such as a drip irrigation system, instead of traditional sprinklers, can further minimize water wastage. By implementing such sustainable practices, high-rise buildings can contribute to water conservation efforts. With a sophisticated water supply system like this, high-rise buildings can ensure a consistent and sufficient water supply for all residents, from the municipal water source to the individual apartments. Every step is carefully designed to optimize efficiency and maintain water sustainability. In this video, we discuss the basic components in water supply system, and later sessions, you will learn more components involving in this system. Thank you for watching AEC Upskills. See you on next session.